So here's a question, would you cast Flock of Doom on this blob? If you've seen my other videos, you'd know the correct answer is no. This blob only gives 123 value for 6 wins of magic when you're looking for around 200. Now, we can only achieve this in specific situations, but before we get into those, we'll need to know how Flock of Doom works. For 8 ticks of damage, Flock has an 18% chance of hitting each entity in the unit, up to a maximum of 18, and when hit, an entity takes 5 damage total. When overcast, you can cast the AoE further, plus it'll hit for 15 ticks instead of 8. Remember that all of this damage is direct too, so it's not mitigated by armor. Sounds a lot like Melkoth's, right? But it's not as simple as targeting the same units, since you're working with an AoE that also costs more. For deeper insights on which units you want to be targeting though, you can check out the video in the corner. Now in most competitive games, it will be rare to hit more than 3 units of infantry, let alone elite infantry. Single entities too shouldn't count towards your calculations since they essentially take 0 damage. Units can even move outside of range to safety, however there are some quirks that help the spell find better targets. For one, Flock of Doom does 80% damage to dwarves, despite their 25% magic resist. That's because each 5 damage tick is rounded to 4. This means it's getting decent value if you cast on a tighter box, even against the Dowie. The extra range is good too for capitalizing on blobs, and it's decent if you can hit 3 units of mid-tier cavalry. In the end though, this spell is pretty underwhelming, and a well-placed Amber Spear will get a lot more value. Next time I take a Beast Caster with Manticore Summons, I'll be taking other spells unless I'm expecting to hit 3 or more units of infantry. Now if you found this useful, a like is the simplest way to spread the word, and if you want to see more content like this, feel free to check out my channel.